Hi, I'm Grant Findlay. I'm with Sir Robert McAlpine, a construction infrastructure company based in the UK. For the last two years, I've been the chair of the Employer Advisory Board for the Digital Construction Career College hosted by the City of Glasgow College. This is the first Digital Construction Career College in the UK and the first career college in Scotland. Through Sir Robert McAlpine came in a partnership with the Careers College Trust um, with an initiative to try and support and improve the digital skills at the operational level in the construction industry. With digital skills being well established and understood at higher technical and professional levels, there was, there was an identified need for those skills to be able to be adopted at the lower end at the operations side. Otherwise the whole digitisation uh, process for the construction industry would not be complete. So the Digital Construction Programme is about supporting young people to develop the digital literacy skills they need for employment in the construction industry. So a lot of young people have those digital skills in terms of social use of um, digital literacy but uh, aren't sure how to contextualise it to working in the industry. So it's about supporting all students, whether they're on a trade programme, an M, M, an E programme or a professional pathway. Uh, it came about because the Career College's trust model is about employer-led education, making sure that the programmes that are delivered within a career college are not just about delivering the qualification, but it's about delivering the whole experience and making sure that young people have the skills that empl employers need. So effectively, it's about developing a pipeline of talent into employment. In my experience working for, with colleges over a, a number of years, I had seen lots of instances of courses being taught in colleges which didn't reflect the current work practices on our sites and in our workplaces in the construction sector. So the, the benefits of getting employers involved in developing new curriculum content across the whole construction sector but specifically in digital construction feels a really important uh, development and step towards helping the colleges provide better training for, for students. For the students the benefits are that they end up with uh, skills and knowledge and qualifications that are more relevant to the workplace. For the colleges they stand a better chance of both attracting new students but also in finding work opportunities for those students on completion of their courses. And for us as employers it means that we're getting young people starting in our businesses who are work ready, who uh, are, um, have an expectation of what work in, in construction will be like and how we use digital tools in the workplace to improve efficiency and productivity. The initial impact and the timing actually of the project um, because of recent events has actually accelerated some of that learning um, for, for us. So, so, so the impact of that couldn't have been timed better because we all moved to this digital online communication. Um, and, and, and this project had already started some of that thought process, some of that mindset, so it came, at the right, came quite at the right time. I think the direct impact of the students being involved in this project has been just opening their mind to how the kind of world of work works, um, seeing how some digital elements can get uh, into their coursework and how what they're doing can relate to the real life. Um, I, th I think that's the main thing is seeing how what they're learning relates to what they'll be working as in their future careers. Through this programme I have met employers such as Ogilvy Construction, uh, they took us for a tour around one of their new construction sites, it's meant to be a, a jail up in Mary Hill. Uh, we also had a conference call with uh, Sir Robert McAlpine, uh, they introduced us into some new technologies that they're using in the industry. Um, and we've also uh, got to see some of the materials library through there from Architecture Design Scotland, um, which we've got to see online and, and in person at the college. So, uh, all really good. The CPD programme uh, that is provided by Career College, the benefits of that for our staff are multiple. Um, things like the project-based learning training uh, have been fantastic because it just opens up the lecturers' minds to how they can integrate units into a larger project um, which will just allow the students to learn things without knowing they're learning them. My favourite part of the project was learning new parts of the technology in the construction industry and 
meeting new people and learning different aspects of the construction industry for what I'm used to. Standout favourite moments, probably getting to use all the new technology on the computer, um, getting to learn all about the CAD and all the different technologies that the college uses um, at home through the, the Citrix that they've got here. Um, it's probably been the, the most interesting so far. The industry isn't really where it needs to be in terms of technology, so there's a big industry need. We've got the skill shortages, you know, and equally we haven't really given um, colleges and educators the tools that they need to deliver the, the digital skills that we actually need. So I think this is a great opportunity to bring educators, experts and construction companies all together to shape the curriculum. And, and I think the Careers College initiative is great and it's great to be involved with it. The industry engagement has worked in, in multiple levels. Um, overarching what it is is to come in and help support and deliver our curriculum and make sure that our curriculum is fit for purpose. It's aligned with what's happening in industry and with that employer support we make sure that both the students are getting that up-to-date experience but also to make sure that our staff are, are up to speed and that they are aware of the changes that are going on in industry at the moment. And again, some of what's happened in the last couple of years has accelerated that process. So having that, that, that link with industry direct has been invaluable for us. There is a direct relationship with the curriculum and employer board that we work with as well. So through Robert McAlpine's and Robertson's, Ogilvy and people like that. So it means that our students have got direct, direct access to what's happening out in industry and the best possible employment. Through the employer board that we've got, the employers have been able to offer CPD sessions for staff for like upskilling and awareness. They've also uh, offered site visits and webinars for our students to work with them to help with their course to show that what they're learning, how that can be um, brought into industry so that they can see the aspects of what they're learning uh, when they get employed and it helps them kind of engage more to understand why they're learning what they're doing and the digital aspect is also kind of coming forward through the employers uh, so we're able to embed those digital skills that employers are looking for into the curriculum. I think the employer board has influenced our uh, systems that we use with the students the technology. Um, one of the main things that I think is, is the, the software the employer board feeding back to us what software they use on a day-to-day -day basis and then we can take that to students and try and kind of embed that software as part of the learning process with the students so that when they leave college it'll just be second nature they'll just step right into a job and be like oh that's the software we're using we know how that works and I think that's one of the kind of key things is just learning something and just taking that right through and it'll just make it a seamless transition for when they get a job. I think collaboration with other colleges is critical. So we've brought together the four pilot colleges in phase two and they're collaborating as teachers for their training and hopefully resource development. They're also collabor collaborating at a senior manager level and a curriculum manager level to solve some of the ch big challenges that they face. It's recruitment of staff into the construction sector is really com difficult in the college environment. So they're looking at how they might be able to share resource, use live streaming to work together where students from across the country are all listening to the same lesson or the same webinar. All of our sectors are going through some quite tough times. In particular, anything that's public funded is, is going to be under increasing pressure to deliver more from a smaller resource. That is happening all across the UK. It's essential that we work together to collaborate, to share ideas, to, to common solutions, but also to bring our resources together to reduce that duplication so we can get better value for money. And just in terms of that, that, that learning, that can take place and understanding, um, particularly between Scotland and England where there's, there's a, a big differences in how our curriculum's modelled, our, our standard, uh, you know, standardisation, etc. That, that can be quite different. So it's quite good for, for, for me to be able to learn um, some of the structures because we can learn a lot from each other. But it's, it's really that collaboration and it's really that bringing those resources together um, to reduce that overall impact. Curriculum development can be quite expensive. And if we all do that in silos, we're failing. I hope you'll be able to be an employer who can support the work of the Career Colleges Trust. And if you are, then I expect that you will get as much uh, pleasure 
that are fun and benefit from this work is we have at Sorobo Kelpie.